once I got into it, I, you know, I really became embroiled and, um, and really loved the, the subject matter. And then soon after, family members started becoming affected with several of these diseases. So it, it gave me some personal impetus to investigate the diseases. So that's why I, I'm in the field. Dr. Jada Lewis's expertise is in developing animal models of neurodegenerative diseases. She and Dr. Michael Hutton, along with colleagues at the University of Minnesota, created a mouse model of Alzheimer's disease that led to a startling discovery. Um, it may actually be possible uh, in the future to at least partially reverse uh, some of the memory loss that we, we see in Alzheimer's patients. Of course, we don't know whether our mouse model will exactly mimic what we see in human patients, but that's the hope. Accumulations of tau protein form tangles in the brains of people with Alzheimer's disease and related disorders. This mouse model is the first to have the human tau gene plus a molecular switch that scientists can use to turn on and off the mechanism that forms tangles. The Mayo Group and their collaborators used this feature to study the disease at both early and late stages. We allowed these mice to develop uh, different forms of tau pathology equivalent to um, a patient who would just come in uh, initially with uh, symptomatic uh, initial symptoms in the disease and then we turned off the expression of our tau gene in the mice. And what we saw is we were able to reverse the tau pathology early on, um, and we were also able to reverse the, the memory problems that these mice developed. Those findings set the stage for an incredible discovery in the mice with more advanced disease formation. But what was amazing, absolutely staggering in fact, was that when we aged the, the mice further to a point where the pathology was really quite se severe, a lot of neurons had died, and where the mouse really couldn't remember um, any of the tasks uh, that we gave it in the various memory tests that we can utilize in a mouse. What we found even at that very late stage, when we hit this molecular switch, um, the, the mouse recovered a lot of its memory function. As I say, even though it was at a relatively severe stage of the, of the disease. The findings caused researchers to rethink what might be therapeutically possible in people with Alzheimer's disease. Perhaps a lot of the memory loss is, be, is caused by um, a potentially reversible process if we can only work out exactly how it's going on and we can design drugs which will halt it. But if we can halt the mechanism, the neurons are still fundamentally um, uh, working or, or can still fundamentally work as long as you can stop the ongoing um, pathogenesis. That possibility is one of many revelations that may lie ahead, thanks to the new animal model that Mayo researchers have helped create. Because the disease process can be activated at will in the mice, they are powerful tools for studying the disease from many perspectives. These mice um, will be distributed to a variety of different research labs for you know, them to also address questions that are directly relevant to Alzheimer's disease. And so basically we've created a tool that um, will allow a variety of different people to address the disease at different angles.